हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल Finally, my first case. I won't get my hopes up about it. I was disliked at the Academy, and I suspect they felt this case wasn't worth wasting anyone else's time on. I'm heading to East Town to investigate some farm trouble. I wasn't given any details. However, there are bad rumors circulating about this town. I'm going to find out why. Alright, I've arrived. Hopefully the farmer can bring me up to speed. Good afternoon. Are you that very detective who was sent to us from the capital? I was expecting someone more experienced. To be honest, no one in the capital is particularly interested in minor rural troubles, and my age is not an indicator of my experience. Unless you were investigating crimes from the cradle, it is an indicator. This isn't the best way to begin our acquaintance. So, what happened here? Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Someone's killed all my chickens. They're trying to pull a prank on me. A prank? What do you mean? Everything's been made to look like the doings of an unknown creature. We have all sorts of legends around here. Only I don't believe in mysticism. Can you tell me in detail precisely what happened? Aren't you the detective? Figure it out yourself. All my chickens are dead in the coop. What's here to tell? All right. I'll take a look around here. Where can I put my things? You can go into the house. My wife's there. Hello, doggy. Come out. Don't be afraid. The dog's scared of something. He didn't want to leave the dog house. Something brutally tore these chickens to pieces, but didn't eat them. Strange. The board broke under the weight of the beast. Sizable tracks. Predator. But what kind exactly? It's a nice house, and everyone's looking well dressed. Harry clearly has other sources of income. Hello, you must be a detective from the capital. My name is Maria, and the angry man outside is my husband Harry, Harry Lloyd. Call me John. Does your spouse object to my presence? No, it's not about you. He thinks someone is playing a prank on him, and I think our chickens really were torn to pieces by some creature. Such things have happened before. What things? Mystical and inexplicable things. I believe that our land here is special. Did you see anything unusual? Oh yeah, I saw that animal that tore the chickens to pieces. It was trying to break through the window when I was in the house. Can you describe it? Huge and creepy. It's definitely not a dog or a fox. I couldn't see it because it quickly ran to the roof. There was so much noise. Would you like some tea? No thanks, I've got a lot to do. Can I put my things somewhere? Of course. You can use a desk in the room.
there are very few predators that could leave scratches this long and deep. That claw was too big for even a wolf. Glad I took the reagents with me. I can test what kind of substance this is. Judging by the severity of the damage, we're looking at a very large creature. I need to heat the sample. Judging by the reaction, this substance is blood. Why is it green? It really does look like the tricks of an unknown beast. I need to talk to Harry before drawing conclusions. Did you find anything? Yes, but it's still too early to draw any conclusions. Have any other locals seen this creature? A lot of folk have seen it. Even those who haven't abandon their houses and move away. People are starting to believe. These lands are cursed. Are there any other reasons to believe that? The harvest in the fields is spoiling. The mill burned down. It rains constantly. People are haunted by small, everyday troubles. May I take a look at the fields? Yes, my field is right behind the gate. I'll give you the key, but the lock's a little tricky. I can handle it. Only you won't see the damaged land from the ground. The field is large, and it's hard to find the spoiled area. I'd advise climbing the tower to take a look. And what do you make of these events? Are you planning to leave? Nonsense. Troubles happen. If you want to talk to someone more superstitious, go to the local cleric. He'll tell you about all the curses in the world.
This is the tower Harry was talking about. The damaged site ought to be visible from it. small town, but a charming one. I wonder, who would I be if I were born here? My name is John. I came from the capital to investigate the recent troubles in your settlement. I am Saxon, a cleric of the Blue Fire Cult. Someone told me you'd be the one to ask about all the suspicious mystical happenings here. I will not speak to you while the totem of our ancestry lies on the ground. The Guardians are already angry with us. They are sending us more and more tests. Do you believe that the lands are cursed? Yes. I saw the demon dog, but it didn't dare to come here. The temple is protected by Wormwood. It is a holy place. What about the rest of the settlement? There is definitely a curse. Soon this land will be no place for living souls. Especially if the totem remains on the ground. Why can't you just raise the totem? It is not enough to raise a totem. You need to appease the guardians with an offering. The cleric cannot do this. It should be done by believers, but people are too scared to go into the damned fields. Well, shouldn't the Guardians protect the believers in such a righteous cause? Enough. You don't understand this. You are a stranger. We have nothing to talk about. I need to deal with the totem if I want to get information from the cleric. These are the last buildings in the settlement. There's nothing but a forest beyond them. The bird dropped something from its beak. sawmill for a long time. Fire really is blue. I thought it was some kind of trick.
The knife is too wide. The tweezers from my suitcase would come in handy here. I can see the area with the spoiled crop from here. I'll head down there. It doesn't look like the crop's spoiled on its own. With my reagents, I can test for any chemical traces. There's so much stuff here. Finding the wheat could prove difficult. It's just a herbicide with machine oil. Nothing mystical. A small area of the crop was poisoned. It's unclear who did it, or for what reason. I need to ask Harry what he thinks about this. That's your field behind the gate, right? With the spoiled part of the harvest? Yes. Did you find out anything? What's the verdict? Did you treat the fields with any chemicals? No, I don't see any point. The field is small. It doesn't bring in much income to worry about. The dead part of the field has been treated with herbicide. The culprit made an effort to disguise it, but they did a poor job. Ha! I knew it would be the most common thing, although I don't have the slightest idea who could have done it. But one more thing, do you have any cinnamon sticks? I'd like to borrow some for the case. Please ask my wife about them. Finding things in this house is her forte. Excuse me, do you have cinnamon? Of course. Cinnamon attracts wealth and luck. I add it to drinks. Sticks would suit me better, if you have any. I need to put the cinnamon in a basket. I have those. Take some. I do hope faith isn't one of the prerequisites for repairing the totem.
Has the rain stopped? My, my. Now the cleric should talk to me. I took care of the totem. I hope we can talk now. Yes. I know this looks superstitious to you, but these are our beliefs in these lands. What would you like to know? A farmer living nearby told me that some mystical accidents have been happening in the settlement and that you might know something about them. Hmm. The most recent would be when the heavens opened up and lightning struck straight into the mill. Then a fire broke out. Was anyone hurt? The miller has disappeared. The bridge to the mill has been destroyed, but no one dares to go there anyway. People saw demon dogs near the mill. Does anyone even know if the miller is alive or dead? I'll go there right now. I will give you a protective amulet. You are not local, but it might save you from unnecessary problems. I'm not particularly superstitious, so I'll fix the bridge to the mill and look for clues there.
Either the dog is still on the loose, or there isn't a dog at all. I can cut this log into planks to reach the mill. Curious, the mill burnt to the ground, but none of the other buildings were touched by the fire. These look like marks from a lightning strike. That can't be faked. Judging by the smoke, the fire only went out recently. I wonder what all these cages are for. And here's the miller's body. Poor fellow, most likely suffered carbon monoxide poisoning. Shreds of fur and the size of the cages indicate that someone kept animals here. The miller illegally bred dogs in the basement of the mill. They could run away in a fire. I need to ask Harry about Count Babington.
Can you tell me anything about Count Babington? Of course. He's the big cheese in our settlement. Have you seen the huge estate on the hill? That's where he lives. Would it be possible for me to visit there without an invitation? I don't know. The Count doesn't communicate with mere mortals. I didn't even see him when he wanted to buy land from me. He just sent some of his people to negotiate. He wanted to buy land from you? Was this recently? In the beginning of autumn, when it all started. Excellent. That information is invaluable. Thank you. It looks like they were waiting for me here. Is there anything I can help you with? I would be grateful if you introduce yourself and state the purpose of your visit. Detective John Woodbray. I would like to speak with Count Babington. I have a few questions to ask him. The Count is in the living room. You might enter. I will notify him of your arrival. I suspect it's the same liquid that I found dried on the farmhouse window. Hello, my name is John. I am a detective from the capital. Do you have a minute to talk? Hello, detective. I am Count Babington. Let's get this over with quickly. I'm in a hurry. What do you want to know? I saw a notice confirming that you wanted to buy dogs from the miller. Why did you need this specific breed of dog? I need dogs for hunting. And as you well know, an intelligent and strong dog is an excellent and devoted companion in life. Why did you set a reward for the capture of the demon dog? Did you come up with the idea of a hunter's squad? I did. I have my reasons. Would that have anything to do with you buying land from local farmers around the same time this dog appeared? I get the feeling that you're trying to accuse me of something, but uh, remember, you're in no position here to threaten me. Not at all. I just want to know more about this demon dog, that's all. My grandfather knew everything about it. He was obsessed with the creature. You can read his diary and find out. It's on display in the library. My father said that my grandfather had a whole secret room where he would disappear for days to unravel the secrets of this dog. We were not allowed to even mention its existence. I see. But you're avoiding my question. You're telling me about your grandfather. But what about you? What's your interest in it? I want proof that the dog exists. I'm willing to pay handsomely for it. You might consider this a hereditary insanity. Now please excuse me. I have an engagement to attend to. The Count said that I could go to the library. I'll do that. Best not to enter his private chambers without a warrant.
diary I need should be in the display case. I don't think I'm quite ready to dive into the experiences of Babington's great-grandfather. I need to look for a use for this hint.
Here's the passage to the secret room. Wow, the owner of this office was indeed obsessed with a demonic dog. This tree is too green for this time of year. The bridge sank into the swamp. I'll have to lift it to get out.
Was there some kind of mysticism involved after all? Could this be a summoning ritual? I've encountered these symbols before, in the temple. Something's wrong with this miniature.
So this is the ritual I saw. This ritual was not performed for nefarious reasons. The cleric wanted to protect the settlement.
I've seen this place. Perhaps it's worth visiting again. This ivy is highly poisonous. The farmer may know how to get rid of it safely. Can I help you? I expect so. I came across poison ivy, the one with red leaves. Do you know how to get rid of it? Herbicide will help with anything. Inject it as close to the root as possible, and you won't have to worry about the poison. There is a large syringe in the barn. Use it. I'll give you the key. Thank you. I can blow up this large stone to clear the passage. This place doesn't look abandoned. The puddles in the destroyed part of the field were exactly the same color. It's the same herbicide. with how it is going. That's the Count's voice. If I hunker down, I can listen in. I need to leave this evening, but you can follow the plan. Lloyd's farm for today? No, it's better not to take risks. Choose someone new from the list. Someone more impressionable. Widow Graham, for example. Will do. I hope the negotiations with the prospectors will go well. Be careful. I don't know how far the detective went in his investigation. He might be on our tail. Now everything is clear. The Count creates the illusion of the monster's existence. I need to collect evidence of his guilt. I went straight up to the courtyard of the Count's estate. This is the gazebo, which was locked.
Jackpot. This is the attacker's lair. Obvious traces of herbicide use. Someone put together a whole monster costume. The size of the boots is large. The wolf coat is sewn so that it can be worn as a cloak. This helmet has no holes for the eyes, making it hard to see where you're going while you're in it. The wearer's movements will be unbalanced. Checks are not in the name of the Count. I'm guessing his butler did the dirty work. Could the Count deliberately free the dogs from the mill to stir up further terror around the neighborhood? I think this dye was added to real animal blood to make it look both realistic and distinctly unsettling at the same time. These documents are registered in the name of the Count. They will serve as indisputable evidence. I think I now know what happened to the old claw. It's over. Now I have enough evidence of the Count's guilt to report his crimes to the city. Well, first case completed. It wasn't easy getting everyone to cooperate. But nonetheless, I managed to get to the bottom of the truth and prove that there was nothing mystical in this matter. Now my career will take off. I can't wait to find out what case I'll be assigned next. The owner of a brothel contacted my agency. 
Her son died several days ago, and the police believed it to be a suicide, but his mother did not agree. She believes that her son was happy in life, and that someone murdered him. She suspects a famous local businessman, but this is a bold assumption, one that needs to be supported by evidence. I suspect it's simply a grieving woman having difficulty accepting the death of her son, and that's all there is to it. But whoever pays calls the shots. I will take her suspicion seriously and investigate. This way I will show that I can be trusted with serious cases. This must be the mother of the deceased. Hello. Are you Diana Evans, the mother of the deceased? Mother of the deceased, yes. And you? Detective John Woodbray. You wanted someone to investigate your son's death. It's all a mistake. Police say he suffered from alcohol poisoning, that his heart stopped. It's complete nonsense. This couldn't have happened. Why do you think that? Don't get me wrong, but I'm a brothel owner, after all. My son is old enough to know how to drink properly, I taught him myself in some way. That wouldn't prevent his heart from stopping. He was absolutely healthy. Healthier than either of us. And happier. He wouldn't drink himself to death. It's absurd. Where and when did this happen? On the 80th fracture four day. There's a staircase near your carriage. It will lead you to the square. There is a kind of gazebo. I will take the required tools, carefully examine everything and return to you. In this city, I can take my entire laboratory with me. It's very convenient. Looks more like a hotel than a brothel, but it seems the area isn't much of a tourist attraction. I think this is the central square of this district. Someone dropped a screwdriver. I could use that. Just need to figure out how to get it. Is this a goblet? Why is it near the doghouse? A typical corner for all sorts of business that takes place after sunset. The watch stopped when it hit the ground. It was evening time. I think this watch belonged to the deceased. Judging at a glance, there could be poison in this bottle. I need to check it in my laboratory.
Some simpletons immortalized their love on the sculpture. Most strange soil and a lot of footprints, including tracks of dog. Someone lost a button. It could be related to the murder, but not necessarily. It seems to be a popular place. This could be the goblet the deceased drank from. Most likely contained alcohol. Judging by the tracks, the dog took the goblet from the crime scene. The deceased was not alone at the time of death. He was drinking with someone. This is a highly toxic substance. Just a few drops are enough to make a person's heart stop. I've found sufficient indications to conclude this looks more like a murder. I need to inform the mother of the deceased about this. Have you examined the place of death? Yes. It's difficult to be sure of anything right now, but I have reason to think that it really was a murder. Oh, thank you for believing me. I was already starting to think I was going crazy. Can you take me to the deceased's room? I need to continue investigating. There could be important clues. I understand the importance. I wanted to give you the key to the room right away, but the governess didn't find it. You'll have to wait a little longer. You can talk to Oscar Brown now. He's most likely sipping coffee in the square nearby. The businessman whom you suspect murdered your son? Might I ask, incidentally, why you suspect him? I won't lie, it's my fault. He lent me money when I had business problems, and I didn't manage to return them in time. Did he blackmail you? I could say so. The last time, he threatened to take away the most precious thing to me. He became my main suspect after those words. Okay, I'll talk to him. Take a piece from the playroom. Most of the useful things are stored there. You can take everything you need. You can also rest there, if you get tired. There is clearly more than one way to have fun here.
Good evening. Are you Oscar Brown? Hello. Yes. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm Detective John Woodbray. Could you tell me where you were on the 80th Fracture 4 day? Mm, in the theatre, at the premiere of a new play. Can you verify that? Certainly. I have tickets, and the director can confirm that I was there. I talked to him after the premiere. May I see these tickets? They are at home. Take the key to my apartment from the table. You can freely search there. I have nothing to hide. Did you threaten Diana Evans? Threatened? Hmm, well, you could say so, probably. She was behind on her debt, and I had to put a little pressure on her. By threatening to kill her son? Son? I didn't say anything about her son. Does she have a son? Whatever. I threatened to take the brothel away from her, to pay off the debt. It sounds like a difference in priorities led to a misunderstanding. Why did you make that threat? To scare her, obviously. It's a ridiculous amount of money for me, but I still expect to get it back. Money doesn't grow on trees. I see. At any rate, I'll take a look at your apartment, if you don't mind. I don't mind, but if you steal something, our places will be switched, and you'll have to answer questions then. Other than that, make yourself at home. Good luck. Rich man's apartment. It doesn't look like anyone made any special effort to clean up this place before my visit. Looks like Oscar is a big theatre fan, and the enthusiasm is mutual. Secret compartments in dresses like these can be opened by pressing certain drawers. The businessman wouldn't drink alcohol due to his liver problems. Personalized tickets to the performance on the day of Sam's death. The businessman didn't lie. The horn connector is rusty. I can't insert it back in place.
It seems that Brown often makes loans to other small businessmen, and he does it without malicious intent. Oscar Brown has an impeccable alibi. I'll talk to the director next. Maybe he can give me new information. Good evening. How can I help? Hello, I'm Detective John Woodbray. I'm investigating the murder of Samuel Evans. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Of course. How can I refuse you? I'm Scott Roth. I hope it won't take long. I still have loads to do. Did you have the premiere of a new play a week ago? Oh yes, it was a success. We're now taking it to other cities. Did Oscar Brown attend the premiere? Do you know him? Of course. I personally invited him. He is a big fan of art and a very good person. Philanthropist, patron of the arts. He even stayed for the banquet. How many people saw him? Can anyone else confirm he was here? No, the whole troupe has already gone on tour. I'm collecting the remaining things and also leaving. That's what I'm doing and that's why I'm in a hurry. Could there be other evidence of the businessman's visit? Hmm, there is a photo. We took a joint photo with the troop and guests. Might I see it? Oh, it hasn't been developed yet. But you can develop the camera roll yourself if you know how to do it. Just bring it back later. You'll need a case to avoid exposing the camera roll to light. Okay, I can handle it if I may. Where might I find a case? The photographer left all his things in the chest next to me. But it was locked. I'll give you the key to the dressing room. There might be something to open it. Please look for the case yourself. If I get distracted, I won't be able to finish all the preparations on time. Thank you for your help. Oh, all of this has quite distracted me from what I needed. There are devices in my carriage for developing camera roll.
The deceased was at the premiere, and apparently he was not alone. I need to ask the director for details. I developed the camera roll. There is a man to the right of you and Oscar in the photo. Can you remember if he was at the performance until the end? Seems to be. Yes, he was with the girl next to him in the photo. They were sitting on the balcony. Did they leave together? Yes, they stayed to take a photo and left immediately. It seems they were together. A pair, you know. Are you sure? Well, I'm not the best person to ask that, but I can tell you for sure that there were kisses in the theater hall. Okay, thanks for your assistance. I won't distract you any further. The deceased was with a girl. Personalized tickets for the deceased plus one. Sam definitely had company. Does his mother know about this? Diana, did your son have a girlfriend? No, no, he would have told me. The director at the theater said that your son was with a girl at the performance. I saw them in a photo. His tickets were issued in his name plus one. I don't know anything about this. We just found the key to his room. You can look for some clues there yourself. Thank you. But I don't think that's true. Could they be just close friends? I had a good relationship with my son. I don't know why he would hide something from me. Oscar has a very strong alibi. I don't think he was involved in your son's death. He said that he threatened you to take over your brothel. Perhaps you misunderstood him. Hmm, it is possible. I was terrified. So many things piled up. Oscar is a cold and calculating person, but probably not cold enough to kill a person. But who did it? You said that this could indeed be a murder. Yes, and I haven't changed my mind. I will investigate this matter further. We will speak again after I inspect the room. The person who lived here will never set foot here again. I feel sorry for Diana.
looks like a serious relationship, in my opinion. I've already seen a picture nearby that resembles the one on this card. This is the same girl as in the photo from the theater, Vivian Shaw. I need to find out information about her and find her. The name of the victim's girlfriend is Vivian Shaw. Most likely she was the last person who saw him alive. I need to ask Diana everything she knows about this girl. Do you know a girl named Vivian Shaw? Sure. This is the lord who lives nearby. Vivian is his daughter. It seems it is she who is your son's sweetheart. I found love letters and a locket. It is very strange, but now his secrecy makes sense. Why? Have you seen their estate? The one on the hill above the city. There's also a long staircase leading there. Now just look around. That's just it. We are clearly from different social strata. Do you think that he didn't want you to find out about his relationship and influence it somehow? I think that he didn't want anyone at all to know about their relationship, just to avoid unnecessary gossip. That makes sense. I will visit the Lord at the estate. interested in any vintage curiosities? What kind of store do you have? Is it a pawn shop? Well, what's in a label? I just help residents get some cash for things they no longer need. Yes, right. Well, I'll let you know if I see anything of interest. Thank you.
It's not as though I expected to be welcomed here with open arms. Hello, Detective John Woodbray. Do you have time to answer a couple of questions? Lord Brian Shaw, you have my attention. What questions do you have for me? About what? This is about your daughter. Did she have a suitor? I don't think so. I don't know anything about it. But most likely, I would have noticed. Are you sure? Because I have love letters from your daughter where she writes that she told you about her affair. Ah, I remember such a conversation, but I thought she wasn't serious. May I speak with her? I'm afraid not. She is very sick and hardly gets out of bed. Doctors can't do anything. Do you know where she was on the 80th Fracture 4 day? She was at home. Now, she is always at home. I'm telling you, she's very sick. It's been a few weeks now. But I saw her in a photo from the premiere on that day. This can't be true. How do you know it's really her? Maybe it's just a similar girl. Maybe. That's why I really need to talk to your daughter to sort this out. This is out of the question. Excessive worry will only harm her. I can't let this happen. Sorry. I couldn't get through the front door. I need to find another way to talk to the girl. This is the only place in the house where the light is on. I think it's Vivian's room. I need to find a way to get in. After fixing this ladder, I can climb into the estate through the window.
I see. That if you need anything, you will get it by any means possible. Are you satisfied now? I wouldn't say so, but I have now seen with my own eyes that the girl is very ill. She can't even talk properly. Do you think I would lock her here if there were no objective reasons for this? I'm not a monster. How long has this illness persisted? At least a few weeks. We went to the family crypt to clean it up, and she was unwell after that day. The weather was chilly, and the air in the crypt was stale, so it's no surprise. Did you immediately lock her in? No. I didn't see the need for it at first. But then, her condition began to frighten even the servants. I let them go. Now it's just the two of us here. It is difficult to do business and run a household, but it will be better for everyone. Would you mind if I look around here? Be my guest. I just ask you not to disturb my daughter further. This brooch gives me a feeling of indescribable horror. It looks alive. I have the same photo, but in this one, the eyes are carefully scratched out. I found a button from this cape at the place of death.
This is our family tree, which was compiled by my mother. Genealogy was her passion. So many books, and not a soul around. Idyllic. This is the same brooch I saw on the girl. Apparently it's a family heirloom. These boots have the same strange soil on them that I saw at the site of Sam's death.
There's a whole secret room here. I think it belonged to one of the long-deceased family members. But there are also fresh traces here. According to the records, this is the room of Vivian's grandmother. The old woman had a serious interest in poisons. One bottle is missing from the counter, exactly like the bottle I found at the crime scene. So far, all the evidence points towards Vivian being a killer, but I find that hard to believe. How could she know about the room? I need to talk to the Lord. Did you know that you have a secret room in your estate? Yes, I know about it. But I lived my whole life in this house, and I didn't find one. My parents took their secrets to the grave. Well, I found one of those secrets. A room with a portrait of a woman. Books, poisons, notes. Do you have any idea who might have worked there? My mother, I guess. She had many hobbies that were considered, for people of our position, questionable. For example? Alchemy, occultism, astrology, and <clears throat> eugenics. She was very focused on the purity of our family tree. Can you tell me about the brooch the girl is wearing? She didn't remove it since we went to the cemetery. This is her grandmother's brooch. Did she find it in the cemetery? Yes, it was in the crypt. I allowed her to take it. The dead have no use for jewelry. May I visit this crypt? I would guide you there, but I dismissed the servants, and the whole house is on me. I don't think I can find time, and leaving my daughter alone in this state seems a bad idea to me. If you could explain to me how to find it, I can handle it myself. Go to the cemetery, and go forward until you hit the lake. The first crypt on the other side is ours. You will recognize it by the family coat of arms on the gate. There is the same one hanging in the hall. How many metals do you have? And what price will you sell them for? I have a lot of them around the store, about 15. You can take everything you find for seven coins.
from what I recall of the directions I need to continue along the road. The branches are too dense to get through. Maybe I can find something in the greenhouse to cut them. According to the Lord, the crypt I'm looking for is visible on the other side. I can't get to the other side without an oar, but I saw an oar in the barn near the Lord's estate.
gloomy place. I can definitely find something in the greenhouse to cut thick branches.
After taking the brooch, the girl voluntarily became a medium for the spirit of her grandmother. I need to return the brooch to the crypt to free this girl. I'll try to prove that the girl is possessed by the spirit of her grandmother. I need to negotiate with the girl's father about assistance. I think I've figured out how to help your daughter. Can you bring her to your family crypt? Can you tell me the details? This is a very vague proposal so far. I understand, but I'm not very sure of what I'm doing myself. I found scrolls in the crypt describing an occult ritual. It seems that Vivian has been possessed by your mother's spirit. I didn't think this was possible, but it would explain everything. I don't think I have any better options. Can you bring her while I get everything ready? All right. It's worth a try. I'll take care of it. I still need to do something, but it won't take long. See you at the cemetery. Now I need to talk to the mother of the deceased. <laughs> I think I've found your son's killer, but it's a little complicated. I need you to come with me to the cemetery. Why? Is there some kind of trap? Sort of, I hope. Come along with me. Exorcizo te, immundissime spiritus, omnis incursio adversarii. The ritual worked, and the spirit left the girl's body. When the spirit spoke, the Lord recognized his mother in its voice. She told of how she poisoned Samuel, using toxins from her secret room. Diana lost consciousness. Even the Lord could hardly fight back tears. What to do next? It is clear that the girl is not guilty. However, the murder happened. The boy's mother withdrew the case. She decided to discuss any further plan of action with the girl's father. It seems to me that she feels sorry for the girl. I have never encountered such a crime before, and I hope never to again. If every time you have to suspect not only living people, but also the dead, any investigation could drive you mad. However, I will still keep the possibility in mind, just in case. I came to a small mining town for my latest investigation. There was an accident in one of the mines, but the manager has expressed doubts. I hope this case will be worthwhile. Ah, detective. Glad to see you. Come into my office. Hello, my name is Margaret. I'm the manager of these mines. I'm the one who sent out the request. Nice to meet you. I'm Detective John Woodbray. I thought what happened at the mine was an accident. Yes, that's the official story. A pile of rocks fell on a miner due to an unsteady bucket. But from what I understand of the case, you think that it could be a murder? Yes. When we found Henry's body, there was a pistol lying next to him. It doesn't make any sense. There must have been a reason he had it out. Agreed. That does sound suspicious. How can I get to the crime scene? I'll give you a pass for the elevator leading into the mines. Our engineer will meet you below. He will guide you. He's a little quirky. Don't be intimidated by the way he speaks. I dare say these days I'm not easily intimidated. Good. That'll serve you well in the mines. If I've answered all your questions, I'll be taking my leave. I have some things to do. Certainly. Thank you. I'll take it from here.
Hello, I'm Detective Woodbray. I've been told that you can help me. Wow, a real detective came to investigate the accident. Came to investigate. Do you think that it was an accident? No, no. Caves. The caves took him. It happened before. The caves will never stop. No. There was another fatal accident five years ago, correct? Can you tell me more about it? The caves took him. They will never stop. No one investigated that case. No one investigated that case. Well, okay. How can I get to the site of the recent accident? You can get there by a hand car. Hand car! But its tank is empty. Empty. There's a barrel of fuel in the workshop upstairs. Is there a jerry can there? I can take some fuel from the barrel and bring it here. Jerry can? No, jerry can, no. I'll give you the key to the boiler room. There might be a jerry can there, but not in the workshop, no. Curious fellow. find a suitable container for fuel. Impressive workshop. Perhaps I'll come back here to make use of the tools. turned out to be larger than I expected. I won't be able to take a quick look around here.
Right. You'll get to the right place. It looks like this is the right place. But where's the body? I told them it was important not to touch anything. Everything is as Margaret described. I need to go back to the carriage for a fingerprint kit to find out who fired the gun. Someone fired, but the bullets struck high. Either they weren't a sharp shot, or that's exactly where they were aiming. The cable is almost new and very strong. Someone cut it. A handprint smeared in coal. Looks like it was left here on purpose.
Judging by the prints, this gun belonged to the deceased. This death doesn't appear accidental. Someone triggered the collapse to kill Henry. But who? What was Henry shooting at before his death? I need to talk to someone from his brigade. Good afternoon, Detective. I'm Robin, and this is my colleague Steve. John Woodbray. To what do I owe the honor? We came as soon as we knew you had arrived in our city. We're from Henry's Brigade. Ah, good. I wanted to ask you a few questions. Well, we don't really know much. It all happened when we were already upstairs. It seems that Henry returned because he forgot something. Was he alone in the mines? Yes, but maybe not. Yes or no? What do you mean? He means the ghost. Robert, don't go bothering serious people with that nonsense. Please, tell me more. We have been hearing rustling and whispering for a long time now. We see some shadows and the light blinks. You believe it to be a ghost? Yes. A guy died in the mines five years ago. We believe he has returned to take us with him. What do you mean by us? Our brigade. Me, Robert, Henry, Jacob, and our foreman, Michael. I see. Can you tell me about Jacob and Michael? Where can I find them? Jacob lives on 37 Central Street. The foreman lives at the pier. We don't know exactly where. Okay, thank you. I will ask you not to leave the city during the investigation. And please be careful. Ghost or no, you may indeed be in danger. Well, I'll start by searching for Jacob. Good afternoon. Is anyone home? Jacob? Silence. It'll be difficult to open the front door. I'll try to get into the house from the backyard. Take him down from the rope. I guess Michael is the foreman. Apparently he doesn't believe in ghosts. Same handprint that was in the mine. I don't think this was an accident. There's no object near the body the deceased could have used to hang himself.
This is a strong sleeping pill. Why would someone choose such a difficult method of suicide if you could simply take an overdose? It seems that the current events are somehow connected to the events that happened five years ago. Jacob's suicide looks fake. He was accused of murder five years ago. I think this may be connected. The foreman of the deceased wanted to find something at the lighthouse. I'll go there.
Another death. It could be Foreman Michael. How can I get down there? Can I get there by boat? The lift mechanism is broken. Judging by the handprint, this wasn't an accident. Those two miners said that their foreman lived at the pier. He probably lives in one of these houses. And there's a boat. I'll try to negotiate with the captain, the Captain S. Hello, my name is John. I came to investigate the death of a miner. Yes, I heard. Someone was killed by a rock fall. I need to get into the gorge under the bridge, not far from the lighthouse. Can you take me there by boat? Haven't you seen the weather? A storm's coming, and there are rocky shores in these parts. So no, I'm not taking you on a boat ride. Too risky. The place is very close and has a flat, sandy bank. I'll pay you well. You can save your money and swim there if you think you know these waters better than I do. All right, I don't mean to offend. I have another proposal. Would you mind lending me your rope ladder? That's another matter. You should have started with that. How about you bring me a treat to lift my spirits? For example, a bottle of rum. And I'll give you my ladder in gratitude. Greetings. Haven't seen a cutie like you here in a long time. You're clearly not a miner or fisherman. What brought you here? Oh, uh, thank you. I'm investigating a mining incident. Oh, Paul Henry. He and his brigade often spent time in our bar. Is it possible someone could mean them harm? Have you heard about any conflict going on? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. None of them struck me as violent or cruel. Their brigade was very friendly. Could they have crossed the wrong person? I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is the grandfather of the miner who died five years ago it may still harbor a grudge. He works as an engineer in the same mine. The old man who speaks strangely. That's the one. But he seems like a good guy to me. He raised two grandsons after their parents died. I didn't know about that. Thank you. Actually, I've been meaning to ask another question. Do you sell bottles of rum? Yeah, 35 coins. Here you go. It's one of our best. Now we're talking. Take the ladder. I think this is the key to the foreman's house. I need to look for clues there. decor is modest. The foreman wasn't often home. The guy on the right is the victim of the accident that happened five years ago. They look so friendly. Who would wish them harm?
do these symbols mean? Some strange paint. Pity that the letter was never sent. If the recipient came here, things would be a little easier for me. I saw gears in the attic. Perhaps I can use some of them to raise the bridge.
Michael stubbornly strove for the lighthouse. I need to get inside and find out what drew him there. Maybe I can find something here that will help me get to the lighthouse.
turns out that the lighthouse keeper is the same engineer from the mines, the grandfather of the miner who died five years ago. These are the same symbols that were on the wall in the foreman's house and his letter. Someone was transmitting messages from the lighthouse. To whom? It's still unclear to me who is behind these murders. It really seems like this could be the ghost of the dead miner. I have questions for the old engineer. I'll find out from the mine management where to find him. Nice to see you again. I hope you didn't get lost. Is there any news on the investigation? I found another body. The deceased was a member of Henry's brigade. His name was Jacob. Oh, it's looking less and less like an accident. Rats! What do you think about it? I would like to know all the details about the case that happened five years ago. So far, this seems to be the only clue. I wasn't working here then. As far as I know, there was a collapse but the Brigade managed to escape miraculously. Everyone except for one miner. Was he the grandson of the engineer who met me? Yes. He started working in the mines at the age of 18. He wanted to help his grandfather. The old engineer buried him right there in the mines. I think that was the reason for the rumors about the ghost. Is it possible to access that part of the mines? Yes, I'll give you the key to the tunnel leading that way. That direction was blocked after the accident. You'll have to be careful there, you know. Of course. I would also like to speak with your engineer again. Where can I find him? I'll ask him to come to the workshop. Though, if you suspect him, I think you do so in vain. What makes you say that? He's not quite right, as you may have noticed. He can barely walk, and his vision is poor. Not to mention the rest. It is unlikely he's capable of harming anyone. Then it sounds like I can question him without worrying him. Thank you. I'll examine the grave. If it's a supernatural matter, there might be some clues there.
tragic sight. Why is there a chest here? What's in it? An account of the deceased. He was hanging on a rope, and then the pile of rocks fell on him. Exactly what happened to the other miners. I think the remaining miners from his brigade are in danger. I need to talk to an engineer urgently. It's you, detective. You again, detective. You were looking for me. Yes. I understand this is a delicate topic, but I need to know. The note detailing your grandson's death, is that account true? I believe it's true. He suffered before his death. Poor soul. Poor soul. It seems to me there is a distinct possibility that his ghost is taking revenge on his former colleagues. Do you want to tell me that nobody was guilty of his death? His death. And he is guilty of their deaths. He is guilty. When he died, everyone said it was an accident. What makes it a murder all of a sudden? You're saying that the killer is a ghost. It looks like it. This ghost tries to make his colleagues feel everything he experienced before he died in the cave. That's nonsense. My brother was a kind and good person. He wouldn't take revenge on anyone. Quiet boy. Boy. The detective knows what he's doing. He knows. I have reason to believe all living members of his brigade are in danger. Robert's usually at the bar, on the pier around this time. I'll hurry there. I need to make sure that he's not in danger. What about Steve? I'll find him. He was friends with my brother. We still communicate. We'll shelter him at our home. Okay, I'll head straight from the pier to you. Where do you live? Near the shore. Not far from the foreman's house. I need to find Robert in the bar on the pier urgently. He might be in danger. This should be the old man's house. Did something happen? Can I help you? Have you seen Robert, the miner? He came in for a drink about 20 minutes ago. He seemed off to me, like he was nervous about something. He was looking out the window and then at the door and then out the window again. 
Any idea what might have scared him? I didn't see or hear anything. I considered it immodest to ask him. Then he jumped up and left without finishing his rum. Thank you. I'll take a quick look around and then be on my way. Oh no! Am I too late? I hope it's not a body. There were lines in the notes of the deceased that he almost drowned. The club is covered in blood. They hit more than once. Stunned by a blow to the head and thrown into the water. And this handprint again. I wasn't able to save Robert, but I could still save Steve. I need to get to the old man's house. He and his grandson were going to invite Steve there. Is anyone home? I thought they'd already been here. This is suspicious. I think I should pick the bog. I need something like a hook. Why has everything been overturned on the table? And the chair is lying on the floor. It looks like there was a fight here. Someone crossed out the dead. Is it really a spirit in someone else's body again? But whose exactly? Another handprint. Am I too late again? I need to open this door early. It's unlikely that the relatives of the deceased were included in this scheme. Most likely his family was left with nothing.
Who's that? Is it you again? Ah, uh, detective! It's a trap! Detective? I'm very sorry that I have to say goodbye to you too, even though you weren't on the list of the damned. Detective! It was him! He knocked me out! I woke up here tied up. I'm sorry I cut you into this. It's okay. Try to breathe as little and shallowly as possible. We have to get out of here. There never was a ghost. The family of the deceased took revenge on his former colleagues in a conspiracy. The grandfather must be the brains of the operation, while the brother is the muscle. We need to get out of here. This window is our main chance of survival. We still need to reach it. Let's try to move the rack. Buckets of oil! Maybe we can move the rack if we slick the floor underneath it. The case is solved and the criminals punished. If I hadn't been so shocked by my past experience, I could have saved another life, but I still managed to save one. I wasn't sent here in vain. I needed a reminder that there are plenty of villains among the living. I feel that now I am ready to take on any task and succeed. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.